Okay, so now we're running into an issue. If you remember this last time, um, there's a couple problems that we see on our player. Uh, he, he or she does move. I guess she's it's a she because she's pink. Um, they do move. The player moves, but it doesn't flip directions when you try to go left, and uh, it doesn't animate. So we're going to try to get that set up uh, in this uh, this instruction video. Um, this might be kind of a long one. So basically what happens here is that on your scale, uh, if you kind of come up here to your player, when you, if you look at this, you move to the left, it should go uh, increase your negative on the X. It'll go positive if you move to the right because it's not on perfect zero. That's what level set up. It's not going to read perfectly. So it still stays negative. But if you notice when I move to the right, it goes higher. Right, goes positive, and Y went negative because you went down. So uh, the same thing works for your scale. So right here you have an X of one, a Y of one, and a Z of one. So if we went right over here on our, you know, our uh, 3D mode, which you can do that and check where the layers are sitting on your X mode. Um, I'm sorry, on your 2D mode, 3D mode. Um, that the the scale works like this it works the same way so if x was zero then it's going to go zero and fall through the ground but if it was negative one you notice that it flips the other direction uh if it was your scale was two it makes it wider on the x same thing can be said for the y so if i did negative one on the y it would flip it upside down so what we're going to do is we're going to whenever we move the character to the left we want the scale to go to negative one so that he's looking, excuse me, she's looking left. Um, so there is a way to code that and this is gonna walk through this in this tutorial that uh, on the Unity website they basically explain how exactly that works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a little graph over here. So let's, let's do that, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to get a graph a variable. Um, get variable and then we'll ch choose graph right so the reason we're doing a graph variable is because we're going to be grabbing that movement variable that we made just for this graph back uh, over here right so that's where it's made we're going to just refer to that we want to get the movement on the horizontal plane and we want to uh, do a um, unique thing with it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in comparison and trust me the first time I saw this I'm like holy crap how am I supposed to know how to use this thing basically what this is doing is it's saying take a and take B so a is whatever the movement is B is zero if a is greater than B then do something if it's less than B or equal or it's greater or equal to B then do something so basically these are your just your different functions we're only going to use two of these in the graph right so if a is greater than zero then we want to do something right and so what we're going to do is we're going to hit select we're going to make a little uh, routine here uh, select and uh, we're going to fix a real quick so if a is uh, we're gonna do a float literal if a is uh, actually a negative one then we're gonna do something but if it if it's false which is a positive one if it's a positive one then we don't need that to happen so so basically what it's saying is your movement which if you remember back here your movement you multiply that times your um, speed you know what that didn't apply never mind okay so we, we've got a negative one or a positive one on the float right so uh, basically if your movement goes negative we want something to happen if it's positive then forget about it that's false don't do that right so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a vector 3 vector 3 oh, wait a minute John we're on 2d here why would we need X, Y, and Z. Well, because if you look up in your scale up here, it still uses the Z, right? So we're gonna keep Y as one and Z as one. If we changed Y to, to two, it would make it taller. If we went negative Y, it would make it upside down. We don't want that to happen. Um, if it is greater than B, if A is greater than zero, 
then um, we're just going to do something. Well, if it's negative, then I want this to happen. If it's positive, then don't do it, right? So um, when it comes to A is equal to B, then what we're going to do is we're going to have a branch right here. It's called a branch. This is basically your true false statement here. Uh, if it is false, then set local scale, transform set local scale on yourself. So don't worry about it. It's basically what it's saying. If it is, if it's negative one, if negative one is true, then change yourself to negative one. That's what it's saying. So basically whenever we hit left and right, it should change the scale. It should flip it. Now, what we're going to do, because we're going to try to keep this real clean, is we're going to uh, select all of that. If you notice, it's grayed out because we don't have it hooked up yet. Um, we're going to change that to flip player um, sprite on on movement. I like to I like to uh, be a little bit more lengthy in my descriptions because I need that information. I like changing this to a yellow because. Uh, I guess technically it's doing something, but it's not making movement. I don't know why. I don't have a logic to that. I don't know. I'll just change it to green because it's actually doing something. Now, here's the issue. When that rigid body moves, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into our branch. When it moves, then we need you to check it. Otherwise, leave it alone. If it's not moving, leave it alone. That is going to allow it, to whenever you go into your little guy here, that whenever you press the A or D, so it's going to flip, this, if you didn't have this set to true, it the, first of all, this wouldn't work if you just had it update, then it would flip it, but then it would flip it back. I, I think that is the way that it works. But because I go left, it switches to the left, it's changing negative. Watch it. You see that? It went positive. I went to the right. So change it back. Left, change it right change it back so that's that's the way that this thing is working so we're getting our movement that's a and if it's greater than zero uh, if it's a is greater than zero then do something if a is not or if it's equal to, to zero then just leave it alone right so moving to the left is negative one when you stop it becomes zero moving to the right is positive one when you stop it becomes zero so basically that's saying just flip it whenever we move Okay, so let's look just real quick at our uh, next part, which is playing animations. Actually, I'm going to split the video here. Let's uh, do that in the next video tutorial. We'll try to keep these short and sweet, as short and sweet as we can.